Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today. Some of my viewers may notice that I passed the 11,000 subscriber mark on YouTube twice already. Unfortunately, I have not been able to exceed 11,000 subscribers and maintain it consistently either due to some of these black males who are still butthurt over the passport videos I made doing things like subscribing and unsubscribing or YouTube going out of its way to mess with my subscriber count. Now, when it comes down to YouTube, it is notorious for doing things to try to needle people whose channels they don't like. And the things that YouTube does to channels that have content that they don't like is they do things like try to mess with your audio, like they did in the case of Mr. Superboy's channel, where his audio was being made to appear erratic, or if they're hearing things in a live stream that they don't like, what they will do is throttle the bandwidth on YouTube's website to make it appear like there are connectivity problems, because I've had that happen on several occasions, and several other YouTubers' live streams who I've watched have had that happen to them. When they were discussing topics or issues, you would have the live streams start buffering. And this, I believe, is done deliberately because when I would go over to my Verizon um, account, there was no problem with the internet as related to Verizon with, because I have Fios, but YouTube would go out of its way to buffer connections on live streams of channels they seem to have an issue with as related to content. And YouTube also does things like make it where some channels can't get their comment sections going. What they will do is make it where the comment sections are disabled. I saw that happen to a goth YouTuber's channel. And it looks like YouTube is trying to do things to alienate people and make it more difficult for them to watch the channels of people like myself and many others here. And this is one of the things that may, has me thinking that this is why I'm having a hard time passing 11,000 subscribers because to go past 10,000 and hit the 11,000 mark means that someone is starting to have a serious influence on viewers and it's starting to build, start to build towards a serious audience. And we all know that when it comes down to YouTube and the channels of black men, they always look for ways to try to take down influential black men, especially those who present an image of intelligence, an image of leadership, and an image of talking about things like heterosexual black masculinity and talking about things like black empowerment, group economics. If you start talking about things that are positive and present yourself in an articulate and intelligent way like I do, this is something YouTube seems to have a problem with because once those channels start reaching high numbers, that's when people at YouTube like these trusted flaggers, like those who work at the Southern Poverty Law Center and many of the social justice warriors who work at YouTube want to try to get those channels taken down because they don't want those black men speaking and presenting a positive message of black manhood and representing an image of black manhood and masculinity that shows that there is a black man who is presenting an image that refutes many of the false narratives that they have out here as related to the black male image. Now your YouTube has no problem with black channels going into high numbers, especially if those channels feature things 
like black people fighting in fast food restaurants, black women twerking, or your black men beefing and arguing back and forth for years. And the reason why YouTube doesn't have a problem with those channels is because those channels are promoting images of black people that promote stereotypes that many find are comfortable with and fit within the smooth world that make many of these racists out here comfortable and make many of these pe other people out here comfortable about the image of black manhood and black masculinity. And this is one of the reasons why many people want to see those type of channels on YouTube because this is entertainment for them and they don't want to see content that talks about black empowerment nor do they want to see an image of a black man who is polished, professional, and intelligent because if you start to see those type of images on the regular, this disrupts the smooth world many whites and non-blacks live in and it changes the narrative and ideas because you have living, breathing images and ideas uh, from black men representing themselves. Now, this is what I'm thinking is going on with YouTube because I believe the problem is YouTube primarily because the subscriber counts have been going all up and down and that's one of the reasons I believe is partially YouTube, but I also am believing that the subscriber counts are going up and down because some of these black males out here, a lot of them are still upset over the videos I did refuting the false narrative as related to black men getting their passports and traveling overseas. And these males, because a lot of them are still upset about those videos, what they did in mass after I made those videos was unsubscribe. And I saw a lot of them unsubscribe and then some of them even on Facebook talking about how they weren't going to pledge on Patreon anymore. And I believe that there are some of these black males who are still, even though they have unsubscribed from the channel, still watching the videos and still lurking in the background and going out and doing things like subscribing and unsubscribing. And then when they see the numbers start to hit 11,000, then they go and unsubscribe again. This is a passive aggressive way and it hopes to attempts to try to needle me, I believe. And this is an attempt to try to get me upset because they believe I am all about the subscriber counts. Now, I, when it comes down to the subscriber counts, I see them as not that important because it's about how many people are watching a message. And over the last couple of months, I've seen more and more people watching my videos because the videos are now getting into the 700 to 1,000 views a day. And that's very similar to where my blog was about six or seven years ago when I was doing men's issues topics. I was getting blogs that were getting uh, sometimes 500 to 1,000 a day and getting 5,000 hits every day. So I know how to make solid content and I can put great content on any platform, but I look at this whole 11,000 drama and I see either it's either YouTube doing things with the subscriber count or it's a group of black males going out here and trying to mess with the subscriber count. And they think they're doing this and they're going to try to upset me but I understand that if I meet the 11,000 milestone, it will I will meet it. And if I ever do meet it, what I'm going to do is host a live stream. Because what I want to do, again, is continue to grow this channel. And I'm not going to try to let either YouTube or this group of black males impede me. And I'm going to try to my best to grow this channel. Or if I, if I have to, I will just go and move on to another platform because I know how to make great content and I know that it's content that drives a website and if you have people 
out here trying to stifle good content. They're not going to stifle good content. All they're going to do is cost themselves a bunch of money because when you have great content, people are going to go where the content is. And it's and again, I have been building content on websites like Blogger for years, so I can always create more content on another platform. But again, I don't know if it is YouTube playing with the subscriber count or these black males playing with the subscriber count. I'm not going to let this hinder me. I'm going to continue trying to build this channel on this platform, and I'm going to continue trying to put great content on this platform. So it's the, the, the subscriber count is not going to deter me from putting out great content on this platform, and I'm going to try to keep putting that content on this platform for as long as possible. If you want to help me continue to make great content here on YouTube or other platforms like Blogger, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash app by clicking the links in the description box. And if you also want to help me continue to move forward in on this platform, you can also buy so many of my books on my SJS Direct imprint on Amazon.com by clicking the link in the description box. I thank you for all your continuing support, and I hope you will continue to support me on this platform, whether I meet the 11,000 subscriber mark or exceed the 11,000 subscriber mark. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, eSteam got us off. Elle's aspiring angel takes on a demonic dominatrix in this action-packed all-new eSteam series adventure. Get eSteam got us off in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.